morning. It's going to be another scorchio day in uh, South Yorkshire here. There is a moderate chance of thunderstorms though, which is um, not fantastic as um, we've got a bit of hair down. Not a lot, but we got a bit that I mowed last night. There should be a separate video coming up uh, for that, so I expect that, um, if it's not already out, to come out a little bit later. I'm crossing my fingers today because we might get to Tractor Fest, but I've got a lot to do before then and it is quite far away, so um, yeah. It's like about an 80% chance that I'm going to go. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, see if we get there. First thing that I'm going to jump on today is the 120M that um, Rupert Farm Services have kindly lent us while the 130 is having something done to it, uh, which we will find out about later. The question I got asked a lot at Cornwall Show, what's happening to the 130? So um, yeah, you'll get to find out soon, hopefully. Yeah, very simple, basic tractor, um, snoop bonnet, so it does feel uh, very nimble, nice and short, got a control panel there, um, yeah, it's alright in here, aircon works, oh, ducks are about, looks a bit flustered doesn't it, this old lad. I'm not needing to use much straw this morning because everywhere's really bedded up well already. Which is good, it's saving me time. New shed! Oh, I love it when we get new sheds. So my dad's just jumped on the JCB, so we get these fed. Look at that sky, beautiful. I'm now en route to Newby Hall. Uh, Mr. John Deere's already there and oh, I think Ollie's going to be there as well uh, so I'll give him a call in a minute and yeah, should be fun Got here to Newby Hall Look at this for an entrance, eh? Tractor Fest 2023 Got in touch showground, we've got John Deere and Mick leading me to behind the ripping stand but this is not going to go well through the crowds here Alright Mick, All right, morning yeah, Good morning lad So I'll get parked in round here then Yeah. It's busy, isn't it? Very busy. <laughs> Could have been here yesterday. Busy mm -hmm. yesterday. He's been my parking attendant waving me in and everything. <laughs> here, right next to the passion wagon that is the John, <laughs> the John D. <laughs> caravan. <laughs> Caravan behind, we're gonna have a look at some of these beastie tractors. Really nice 7R350 on the Rippen stand, and an 8850 as well. Kids can play around on uh, some pedal tractors. Look at that for a beast, it's huge. So, John Deere's playing a, a, a big part in proceedings this year. <laughs> Hello. You alright? Yeah. Tractor here is John Deere Mix. Yep. How long have you had this then, Mick? Uh, 12 years, I mean, something like that. 12 years, yeah. 
12 yeah, it years. Will be. 12, 13 years. So 74. 74. We, we put an age related number on it because it went to Holland from New. All right. It's got the larger mug guards. There's a tractor down here I can show you with the shorter ones on for English version. So how come they had larger in Holland? Just what they were used to, or? I call it passenger seats, really. <laughs> they can sit on the mug yard and go shopping with wives. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and it must have been imported back into England and bought by somebody else at a farm sale, and we bought it uh, from then when uh -huh. we saw it. So, then uh -huh. we, like I say, we got in touch with Langer and they managed to get an age-related number plate to the date. They knew exactly when it had gone down the line and everything. They were very good. Oh, right. Very good. Oh, it's sorted it out. To the date with a serial number and everything. It oh. was spot on. So oh. Good. That's what it said, yeah. Tracy's just putting these on. So we don't get any mucky fingerprints on it, innit, it, Trace? There's all red levers on them. Even more, John Deere. So we'll... Uh, these are uh, real classics, aren't they? Look like we've met. It's Michael from GCS. I'm Michelle. I'm Michelle with all the money. Yeah. Look at that, eh? No, Loaded. Fifty pound note. You don't see them many. Well, obviously with you guys, you do. But you're young. Be from Yorkshire. They don't come out very often, do they, Joe? No, 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 no. No, they're still in the draw from. 20 years ago, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, blink, the, blink. <laughs> the public transport at the show. We've got some very tidy Fords, David Browns, Ford 5000s. Michael will know all well, about these. The thing is, I can remember when these tractors were modern and new. Yeah? They were the things to have. They were. They were. Am I showing my age now, Joe? Yes. Yeah, yeah. These have always been old to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was the, that was the in thing. So you, you, this this cab was the in thing then, was it, Michael? When this came out, the early ones had white lights at the top. Right. Right. But when this came out, the Super Q cab, we thought we'd really made it. We thought we was there. This was this was the lack of luxury. And did it have aircon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, yeah. He, he, heaters as well. Windy wipers the whole, the whole wow. lot. The whole lot. <laughs> the whole lot. Nowadays, I get into a fence. I can't even get the thing to start or move. Oh, I know. It's the same with a John Deere, and I, I know John Deere's. But I was learning things yesterday on how to drive it when I was mowing. I'm like, why, why isn't this button working? But anyway, we got it sorted in the end. We've got this one running. We're on the Mercedes stand, it seems, here. Lots of Unimogs about. Nice. Look at this. MB track. Is that not perfect? Hey, How much would one of them be worth? I know a man who'd know how much one of them would be worth. Michael, how much is that worth, then? It's worth what someone's willing to pay for it. Because find another one to compare it with. Yeah. Not, you know. That's not only got one he's doing that. Yeah, it's not like this though, is it? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but it might be. I think he's at, he's taking it to Reese Heath College, I think, and they're going to do it up for him. But yeah, that is, that is nice, like brand new. Beautiful. It's a bit different. That's right. These fan belts, if you've ever got any old machinery, fantastic, very expensive, but you can just make them to any length you want. Really? Yeah, I had one for a potato grader. That's the Yorkshire one coming out and you're gaining these, isn't it? No, but honestly, it was like two or three hundred quid for a belt. Right. But it, it made it a workable old piece of equipment. We graded lots of potatoes with it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, that. Nice. Matthew Ferguson 1250 in the background here. 1200 there. That's loads, actually. Yeah, good show from the masses. It's nice this show, Trace, because you can loads of space to be able to get good Hide. pictures of them. <laughs> Hide. <laughs> oh, we used to have one of them. An, is it an acrobat, they call them? For, turn, for rowing sure up your hair. Yeah. I just know it is a rower. 
Yeah, I'm going with Rupert. I'm going with Rupert. I was just saying to uh, Tracy, I'd not seen a loader like this and she was quite shocked. She said, what, you've not seen a... Banana loader. Well, I know it was a banana loader. Banana loader. <laughs> because it's shaped at half. <laughs> Yeah, you could get some height on that, couldn't you? I bet you knew if you'd got one a modern day silage bale on front. There's nearly as many masses as uh, there was John Deere's. Seen one without a cab though that looks an absolute beast. Look at that. 11.55, no cab. Absolutely huge. Wonder how many horsepower that would be. Fair lump of an engine, isn't it? Full aircon, though. Got a Massey 135, similar to uh, what Mr. B has, and a potato harvester. So, will this bring back some memories for people? Okay. Take them up, clean them a little bit. Tip them into the trailer at the side. I'm guessing you would stand on the side and sort out the stones, maybe? I know a lot about it, but it looks like your potatoes come in there, get flinged into this bit that will clean it, take the soil off. Then I'm guessing it drops into here and then you can pick the stones or bad potatoes out and chuck them off to the side. Then up the conveyor into the trailer. Am I right? Am I wrong? That's just how I've worked it out in my head. Got a really nice 1150 again, a really big massive. Especially for its time. Really nice. But I've just seen a case that we used to have on the farm. We, um, yeah, I remember it from a kid basically. We had. Um, 1056 XL. So yeah, this is uh, the case I remember as a kid. We had one like this, and we had one with a stockman cab, but a smaller. Yeah, what a beast. But there, you'd have the PTO, pull that in and out. And then I think at the back, there was a little seat. Yeah, there it is. Spent many an hour on one of those. Really big internationals as well. 1566. And then there's one behind this. That is huge, which I'll show you next. Yeah, look at that. That is one massive beast. Yeah, I can tell this is just going to be a, um, a beast filled video, so I apologise if uh, somebody wants to count how many times I say it and then uh, ridicule me for it, then I am uh, more than welcome for people to do that. But yeah, that is um, that's a nice machine, that, isn't it? Any horsepower? I'm guessing like 170, maybe? Something like that? Look far off 180. Here we've got a stationary thresher. <laughs> so before combines, this is what they used to use. Thresher straw from uh, the wheat or the barley. I think this tractor, so case 985, is very similar to what we had as a loader tractor when I was a kid. But it didn't have the flash cab on it, it had like the stockman cab. I remember it being the first tractor that I'd ever driven, Michael. It was the first tractor. My dad said, jump on it, drive it up the yard and go and get a bale of straw. I said, well, what happens when I need to stop? I don't worry, I'll caught you up by then. He hadn't, but uh, I managed to press the clutch in and the brakes and stop it. But, yeah. You're reliving your youth, aren't you? It's like... I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you with the New Orleans co Combine uh, that you were talking about earlier. We'll uh, have a look at that in a bit. It's a great show. It is, it is really good, isn't it? Yeah, we're enjoying it. Yeah. John Deere, Mick and Michael from GCS were like, you've got to go and see this because you'll not see another one of these anywhere local. A reverse drive Moffat. So, the steering wheel's at this end. Answer. I wonder if the loader would have worked better that way with the weight of the engine as like the counterbalance. Um, but yeah, uh, as Michael was saying a minute ago, the uh, the loader comes off and you can turn the seat back round, put your steering wheel back on that cog there, and you're away with a tractor again. Uh, yeah, quite quite a thing. 
telling me this has only done like 5,000 hours. What? The beast. Got some counties. Two hundred thousand. Jeez. There's a lot of counties there, isn't there? Yeah, it really is a, uh, a nice thing, is that? Keep that locked up. Power from the back wheels comes on that shaft to drive the front wheels. 225. It's huge, but then look at this. A digger. It's got some reach on it as well, you know that. I bet the bushes on it are better than uh, what's in my Cabelco. It's probably got better teeth as well. I think this could well be the biggest tractor here at the show. Is there we on? Huge. 5,000. There's a lot of fence on here. Literally, I think every single tractor brand is on show here. Yeah. Tractor Fest. Oh, that's uh, that's nice. I wonder what that pipe's for. Is that for a drill? Looks a bit, a bit thin for that. Reach far. And look at this. We've got a cab on wheels. 34,500 on farm. Hmm. Okay. Nissan X Trail or Deutsch Far with log splitter. Hmm. Wonder how many horsepower that is then. So, if people remember, we had a Kramer on demo the uh, the other day. Well, this is. I'm sure somebody will have had one of these on demo at some point. But um, yeah, this is a, a Kramer tractor mix uh, 1640. That I've driven around at May's time. I think he fetches a load of corn actually this year on it as well. So if people want to look back in their videos, you can see that one running with a little trailer on the back. In the ripping stand, having some sandwiches, aren't we, Trace? Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Here, just looking for a new uh, John Deere on the Ripon Farm Services 10. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deere came here to sign the car. Yeah? There we go. <laughs> On the try. Don't see too many of them about anymore. Nice little international. And then there's these wagons. They look nice, huh? Shepherd Hood. I think next time Holly does his combine run, shall we? Yeah. Maybe he ought to do it in one of these. Yeah, is that a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> this one without a cab. Yeah, that'd be that would be um, really pushing it to the extreme. His car is looking mint now, isn't it? With the all the stickers on. Still donate. Uh, link in the description below to Ollie's combine challenge. Still donate, can't you, Ollie? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna put a link below, aren't you? I have. Do you know what? There's a link in every one of my videos for the last about week. Yeah, Business. Fast track in the background over there. Nice. And then a bit more of the uh, different tractor. Yeah. Very small tractor here. Diesel. Scenes here with Ollie. Just checking out your tractor. Hello. Hey. So this is the first one you've had? Yes. Yeah. You enjoyed doing it up and bringing it to shows? Yeah, it's been really fun. Good, good. It's looking good. So Michael's been waiting for somebody to get a selfie with him all day. Completed! <laughs> that is a different type of tractor. See a bailing. I think you have to put the needles in to thread it by hand. That's real fing finger nipper. Yeah. 
Your fingers all right? <laughs> Spitfire fly past. That sounded uh, like a beast, let me tell you. Making airs on the back of your neck, stand up. stationary engines, even a pink one though. Little to large. Comes the Yorkshire train. Normanton. Barnsley! Get on! And Sheffield. We got some tractor pullers here. A big beastie Ford. And then something more my spec. And these are somewhat similar as well. Two engines on that one the slush puppy machine about 10, 10 minutes ago and I think Ollie's they said wait 20 minutes I think Ollie's asked three times if the, if the slushies will be ready <laughs> the kid at heart really really happy now are you happy now Yorkshire <laughs> farm lad here off yeah. TikTok got, got you in a proper county don't we got you into the north rather than that dirty south oh how dare we how dare we <laughs> Good fan of you, you know. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Check it out on TikTok. New Massey fans. There's a few on show from Cars Billington. That's like a 120 that we've got in the yard, isn't it? Like that uh, John Deere. Look at this beast here. 60 Caterpillar. That's when men were men, isn't it? Eh? It is. Rolls Royces and Bentleys here. Lots of Rolls Royces. Nice, isn't it? Get on the Countess de Grey. All on the train now. Been through a tunnel. This boat on the river. You gonna drive it next time? <laughs> Look at that, Look at the house. Didn't get this in earlier, so we've walked back. Look how wide that is. Like a go-kart. And then there's a beastie fast track behind. Like, I wouldn't mind having one of them, to be honest. With all the tractors. I did uh, enjoy my time in the harvest doing that. Got all in the background here. Some of the tractors are making their way out and home. 165 pulling the 135. It's off. Doors are here. Very nice. Crawlers on. This is better. We're actually seeing stuff moving. I like this. Rattling along on that. Nice. Had an absolutely fantastic time here at Tractorfest. Thanks for allowing me to tag along with you guys. It's been really nice on the train and everything. Um, if everyone likes it, press the like button, subscribe if you've not already. Ollie's catching the. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Peace. A feeling I'm gonna be stuck behind a lot of tractors on the way home now. Just gonna see if we can find John Deere Mick before we go. Caravan zucked up. We're getting pop art now. Tractors are back. These are your two, aren't they? They're yeah, fetched. It's easy to see them here. Yeah? Ready to be loaded. <sighs> My car will be hot when I get in that. This is. I don't, have you been on wine, Tracer? Hey? You're tickled, aren't you? <laughs> Just been driving uh, John Deere Mix. <laughs> what is it, a 9020? Is it, Tracy? <laughs> I said it were a 9020, it's a 920. <laughs> but anyway, I've got to get off because the wagon's here to pick it up. Yeah, it's a nice little track to that. I like that. Gonna end the video, but Mick's got to drive it up here. 
You got it at speed, haven't you? <laughs> so just in case anything goes wrong, we'll film it. Just to put him under added pressure. Make it between these two on the ramps. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, easy. Too easy for him. No seals video, would it, without multiple endings? But this is the last one. Um, we're leaving now. Uh, we will go past some tractors as we're leaving. Um, yeah, so hopefully people have liked it. Press the like button and subscribe. Massive thanks to Ollie and Charlotte um, for uh, letting me tag around with them today because that was uh, really nice of them. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.